Hi everyone, uh, so recently I have been playing around with Better Out, the new authentication system and the payment processor called Polar, which is merchant of record for those who don't know, uh, just like uh, Lemon Squeezy. So as I was building this tiny starter project, uh, it got bigger and eventually got some nice features like admin panel, some automatizations, synchronizations and other cool stuff. And eventually I decided to turn this uh, code base into a boilerplate for everyone. And I named this boilerplate uh, as better kit for obvious reasons. And it's currently in MVP stage. Uh, it does his job pretty well. Uh, it does his core job pretty well. And uh, I have plans to grow this even further, add, no add some nice features, essentially everything you need for a SaaS project. So if you want to ship your next project really fast and don't want to deal with this boring stuff like users, admin panels, etc., then you can get this boilerplate for yourself. Uh, link will be in this video description. Okay, so if you are interested in SwellKit or any of these libraries, or you have just an interest what I have built with these, then stay with me and let's dive in. Okay, so I have a very basic uh, landing page, but we are here to check out the functionality of the code base so let's log in I will use an email I'm a big believer that we should ditch passwords altogether uh, so in this project I will use only uh, email OTB OTPs or one-time passwords and uh, social logins like in this example it will be Google so first I will demonstrate how I manage the OTPs Let's check our email. We got this nice designed and simple but nice designed email with a uh, one-time password. Let's paste it in. And we are signed in as a user. So currently we don't have anything set up in this project. It's empty project. So if you head to the billing section, we don't have a subscription and we don't see any plans we can subscribe to because we haven't added our products yet so here is the account we can update our name since since we uh, logged in just with an email and otp we can write our name click save and you can see here our name updated as well so these restricted pages are demonstrations for example uh, to restrict an appy to only for pro users we can click and we have no access as expected because we don't have a subscription and if we check the basic basic uh, for basic plan we don't have access to uh, this is for api testing this is restricted page it just redirects the dashboard and this is restricted from server side so it also restrict and don't give us access to that page so next thing we need to do uh, let's make this user as our um, admin let's refresh this collection and replace user with admin okay let's refresh the page and nothing changed but we got here an admin link and if we click on this we head to our admin dashboard which is the pretty nice thing to have in your SaaS applications which you most likely will not develop by yourself because you are too lazy and you you will just use your uh, database directly so this is one thing uh, nice about boilerplates that you have all these uh, bells and whistles which you most likely will not to build yourself and this is some sample data with the uh, chart.js I optimized and built to use this in our SwellKit project you will get that too as a component and if we head to product section we don't have any products but we fetched our products from Polar dashboard and if we go to the Polar dashboard we are con currently in sandbox but uh, that doesn't make the, any difference so we can right now import both products and if we go back as a user and head to the billing section we now have a plan 
which which one is monthly plan and another one is for a year and uh, one cool thing we have here since we added these products uh, we now have also a pricing page updated and we have all these uh, products available for users to check the pricing page so let's get back to our admin panel and uh, we can also change the plan uh, which product um, is which plan so we can make uh, different kind of uh, products to sell and we can attach uh, any plan we want and uh, how we get our uh, plans it's really simple and easy I just define them in our uh, model mangoes model if we add for example additional like enterprise plan and if we go back make refresh check settings and now we have also an enterprise plan and if we want to restrict access so some basic features for example we can head to routes API private private is uh, for users that are already logged in and if we go to the restricted section we can simply check um, what kind of users can get access to this API or um, I should say API as you already noticed I'm not a native English speaker so I try my best but yeah so I might get some spelling errors so forgive me <laughs> and uh, so that's a cool nice thing so if we go back to our polar page we can add for example new product and let's call it basic I will add sandbox to be clear that it's it this is not a real product uh, we can add description or this time I will leave it empty and uh, I will make a fixed price monthly fixed price let's say fifty dollars fifteen dollars and that's it for now I'll create the product and I will create a new one also basic and this time it will be yearly fixed price and let's make it 150 a year so let's create a product and the cool thing about this if we go back to our uh, admin panel if we click on a user we can see a user but if, if we click back on products we already see that we have new products we don't need anything manually add we just import again both products and the same thing happens in our pricing page and in our available plans for example here we now have two plans both monthly and yearly and if we go again to our landing page again we have both plans already imported this is a really cool feature I am really glad that I did because I was already frustrated with uh, adding in multiple places the pr products and uh, this is really nice feature so there are few things that we can uh, add to our products like for example we can add some features let's say let's add to a monthly plan let's say we can add unlimited emails just these are future features that you can uh, inform your users about uh, what they will get for example unlimited bandwidth and like 100 AI tokens let's save changes and if you go back to our pricing page we we get these nice check marks with our available features I will demonstrate how to how the subscription process happens let's let's make it a pro plan again this is a sandbox it's not a real environment but uh, this is okay for our testing let's select some random country I don't know let's let it be a Germany ah, we don't have a tax ID um, and click subscribe Okay, we have got back to our success page now click back to billing and now we have an active uh, subscription plan and if we try to 
get some pro features we are now allowed to use them all pages are available like allowed plans for this page is pro uh, restricted page uh, this is only checked on uh, client side but uh, sometimes you need that but if you are loading some kind of uh, sensitive data then it's better to use an SSR or server-side checking what we do here is uh, let's see we can go to our routes click admin oh app click app and um, go to restricted SSR and we check this in our page server.js file uh, again there is a allowed plans like pro you can add for example enterprise so now these two plans are available and you can see that here too so another thing I want to uh, show you let's log out so obvious thing is that uh, Google uh, works just as expected with the same account we still have our admin um, role so these accounts work and link together on autopilot so let's log out and now let's log in and create another account so let's enter login another cool thing is that it has an auto submit once we enter all our pin digits and we are in so currently we don't have ad admin access as expected uh, we just have a basic standard uh, dashboard for any other user currently we have no access to any of these api features and pages because they are restricted for subscription plans okay so one thing i forgot to is um, i forgot to assign basic plan for this product so i will save changes here oh what a nice feature to have everything in dashboard you don't have to uh, program anything here so i will log out again and log in again with this current user let's enter pin code so now we are back i will choose this basic plan so again enter test car details uh, the car details is, are the same same rules for just as for stripe and let's again choose some random country Let this time it will be france so subscribe okay we got our basic plan in our subscriptions now let's test some things let's try to test our basic feature it does work we have access if we try to get our pro feature we don't have this access if we try to get this restricted page it doesn't work and if and if we try to access this restricted page from a server side it still restricts us so as I showed earlier we can just add another plan and it should work I don't know about you but I'm happy with this it's really simple I I think that's um, all the good and clever things are hidden in simple things and that's not it so if we go back and log out let's log out let's log in with our admin account and let's go to our admin section we can click on users now that we have another user uh, we can edit it if we want to we can delete it we can see sessions active sessions uh, since we logged out we don't have active sessions and we have a subscription info and if we go back we can we can add some uh, short actions short links here we click on these options I can impersonate this person right now so as an admin you often get to debug and help your clients 
to with with all kinds of issues and the impersonating thing it's best thing you can have in your app so you don't have to guess or ask for passwords etc you can just as an admin you can impersonate the person and help them with their problem so how cool is this you can act like this person right now you can for example user says he can change his name you can name him a john save it and it does update his name and then everything just works you can uh, check access and everything you should do as an admin you basically have a session just as this user but only thing is that there is uh, another mark that is called impersonated by and which is your admin ID and if we go to our database we can uh, clearly see this let's refresh it to see our collections you can here we have a session where you can see there is impersonated by and you can see ID of the user so if you go back to our app we can just click on stop impersonating and we are logged in back to our original account here are a few things you can see nice nice things to see uh, active subscriptions these are fetched directly from polar um, I was thinking about uh, adding some kind of icon that you can see if it's uh, already imported and synchronized with our database to somehow mark that we have this subscription in our database and we are actively watching uh, these subscriptions on our webhooks so uh, you will see these two links like blog and feedback uh, they are currently disabled but um, I plan to implement this so we can have our blog for SEO and marketing and uh, other cool stuff we can write about uh, our uh, project for basically for SEO uh, and we have a feedback section which will eventually be uh, where users from their user dashboard we, uh, will be able to leave some kind of uh, feedback about this app or ask for help and uh, maybe for asking for some kind of features and other users will be able to upload so you can build and iterate on user based on user feedback so yeah if you want to join me on this project you can do that uh, for a small fee you will get uh, this whole project uh, free updates for life and uh, also you will get invite to github repo where this project is uh, hosted and uh, where you will get the code base another invitation will be to our discord server where we will discuss uh, anything better fit related or uh, business talks in general how to how to build and how to optimize our uh, SaaS projects and where to get clients etc so basically some kind of indie hacking um, community small community based on our uh, new project called better kit so yeah uh, I hope you got excited uh, on the same level as me uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one Bye.